Today we're going to work on what's something called the Mobius Strip, which I know a lot of you have not heard of, and we'll get more into what that is in a little bit. Um, it's something that I think you'll find very intriguing, and it gives some very unexpected results that I think that will surprise you in many ways. Okay, for this we will need tape. You can use scotch tape, masking tape, duct tape, electric tape, doesn't really matter. Any pair of scissors you like, and a normal sized sheet of paper. And we're going to cut the paper the long way down, about an inch over, all the way down to the bottom. And we're going to do that for the entire sheet of paper. When you finish, you should have six or seven strips of paper. If you need more through the course of this, that's okay. There's plenty of paper to be had. First thing we're going to do, we'll take one strip. We're going to take it, make a ring out of it. And we're going to put a piece of tape. And this is important for the whole thing we're going to do. You want the tape and the paper to meet just like that. You don't want an overlap. You want them just to meet. With this first ring that we have, I want you to think about, does it have an inside, does it have an outside, does it have a top, does it have a bottom, how many edges does it have. Write down a few of your thoughts about the things I just said in your notebooks. Also, we're going to draw a line down the middle as best you can around the ring. I want you to write down what's going to happen, what, you, what do you think will happen when we cut around that. The best way to start cutting all the things we're going to be doing today is to fold it and then give it a little snip, put the scissors in and then start cutting this way. This time we're going to take another strip, we're going to give it a half twist, and we're going to join the two sides together. So your shape should look something like this. And we're going to put a piece of tape on there, just like before. You want the two ends to butt up against each other, like that. What we have now is called a Mobius strip. Why don't you take a look at it, write down how many sides it has, how, does it have an inside, does it have an outside, how many edges are on this piece of paper now that we've joined it together. Write down a few of your thoughts on your, on your, on your paper. Just like last time, we're going to draw a line around the middle. Go all the way until you come back to where you started. It gets kind of tricky sometimes, but do it the best you can. Okay, now we're going to cut this thing in half, just like we did with the, with the ring. But I want you to think about this before you do it. What's going to happen when we cut along that line that we drew? For this next demonstration, we're going to need two pieces of paper. 
made into rings like this. And we're going to join these rings like this. And we're going to need actually four pieces of tape to do that. You have four seams or you have two on the top, one there. Let me turn this around, one on this side. And if you flip it over, you have two more on the other side that we're going to put tape on also. Okay, now we're going to cut down the middle of each of these. But before we do that, I want you to predict what you think will happen. What shape will it have when you're done? How's it going to look? When we cut the first one, go right through the intersection, just like that. And you should get something that looks like this. Then we're going to cut down the middle here. For the next one, we're going to need two sheets of paper again, and we're going to make two Mobius strips. One of these we're going to turn clockwise, and we're going to put tape on it, like that. The other one, we're going to turn counterclockwise. It's very important that you do this, otherwise this won't work right. So we have the two Mobius strips, one's clockwise, one's counterclockwise, and we're going to join them together just like we did with the two rings in the last example. Okay, we're going to do like we did the last one. We're going to cut each of these Mobius strips down the middle. If it helps you to draw the line, please do that. A mathematician confided that a Mobius van is one-sided, and you'll get quite a laugh if you cut one in half, for it stays in one piece when divided.